So here we have a debt of three seven two six three thousand seven hundred and twenty six dollars is repaid by weekly payments. Okay, weekly payments, which are in arithmetic progression. Now, in, in this case, you know what kind of progression this is already, which is a very good thing when you are trying to solve this kind of question. Now, uh, the first payment is sixty. Good. The debt is fully paid, repaid after 48 weeks. Find the third payment. So pretty easy. So part A. We know the debt, the amount, the total amount is equal to 3726. Right. And also we know that it is an AP, right, given to you by the question. And the first term we call this A. First term is given by 60. And the debt is the debt is fully repaid after 48 weeks. So we repaid the whole thing after 48 weeks, which means the sum of the 48 payments have to give you 3726, if that makes sense, right? So we kind of have to derive this from the given information. Now, since we know this is an AP. I would always recommend writing writing down all the formulas you know for this progression. So we know this is AP. So the n term is given to you by a plus n minus one times d, and the sum of the first n term will give will be a half n two a plus n minus one times d. Again, these are given to you on your sheet. You don't need to memorize. However, if you can, definitely do so. It will be. Uh, to your advantage so you don't waste much time. Now, here you can see we have the value of A, we are missing the value of D. So how can we find the value of D? Do we need that? Um, yes, we will need that eventually because the question is asking you to find the third term. Right? We have to find this eventually. So let's use this for now, the given information, to find the value of D from this. So this, this means when n is equal to 48, the sum is equal to 3726. Replace back in this formula, let's see what do you have. So you will have 3726 is equal to half, n is 48, 2 times a, so a we know it is 60 given by the question, plus n is uh, 48 minus 1 is 47 times d. So there's only one unknown, we have to find the value of d using this equation. So let's see how can we simplify this. So first thing we can cancel out 2, that will be 24 here. And we have 2 times 60, that will be 120. So here we have 3726. And we can, uh, that equal to what? Uh, the value of 24, that will be 120 plus 47D. Now we can also simplify this. So let's try 3726 divided by 24, that will be 155.25 that will be 120 plus 47d now minus obviously so 47d equal to this minus 120 that will give you 35.25 so d will be what this divided by 47 will give you 0 0.75 and okay, this will be d will be 0 0.75 so now we have the value of D, we can use that to go find the value of the third term. So third term according to the question should be what? I mean to the equation will be A, A is 60 plus N is 3, third term minus 1 is 2 times D will be 0 0.75. So that will be 60 plus 2 times 0 0.75, that should be 61.5. So this is the third payment, which will be $61.50. That will be part A of the question. Now for part two, we have to find the sum to infinity of the geometric progression. So now we know the kind of progression we are dealing with, which is very good. Now we can know exactly which formulas we'll be using for that. Now, we have to find the sum to infinity of this progression, whose first term is six, and whose second term is four. Second term is we have to know t of n for a j o is a r n minus 1. Now again, this is given to you on your list. Now t of 2, that will be, when n is 2, that will be a times r 
n minus 1 is, so 2 minus 1 is 1. A is 6r, so that will be this. 6r will be the value of 4. So let's write this down. For point B, we're given the value of a is 6, and then 6 times r is 4, which means r will be 2 over 3. And we have to find the sum to infinity. Now again, this is a formula we are given. We have to know as well, given to you on the list. That will be a over 1 minus r. a is 6, 1 minus r will be 2 over 3. So 6 divided by 1 minus 2 over 3, that should be 18. So this will be the sum to infinity that we are we will be finding for a geometric progression for part B of this question. As you can see, it is not too bad. Um, these questions are pretty easy as well. We just have to understand what is given to you and the kind of progression we have. And following that, we proceed step by step, finding the unknowns and then finding the required question or finding the required answer that we need to find for the question. Anyways, that will be a question involving series.